Hello and welcome to the Discourse Duo Podcast. Um, today we're going to jump right into our first thing. I found a interesting article on Facebook. Okay. Um, uh, not really an article, more like a thread. It's it's actually um, real news because it's you got it from Facebook. So I mean, you know, it's real news for anyone that's over the age of like seventy five. <laughs> <clears throat> so the actual like question that was asked was actually pretty funny. What secrets can you now share that you're no longer under an NDA? Ooh. <clears throat> so first off, there was a lot of really lame ones. <laughs> Okay. And there was a lot of ones where it was like, that's not saying there's a secret. That's more of like, hey, you worked at a bad location or you're a bad employee. You are know, the, are these companies named in this? Some are. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, and I, pff, I'm saying it. Okay. So the first one is edible arrangements. Oh, it says edible arrangements are pre-made and stored in a cooler a week before any holiday. That's why they never last as long as a freshly made arrangement and or box. Also, other than the uh, cutters, all of their other ingredients can be purchased at your local grocery store. Hershey's chocolate, um, uh, logs of caramel, and uh, women in management there are all a new version of the Stepford Wives. Really? So, Do they keep them in freezers too? Is it? <laughs> 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 so I will say that uh, the last sentence seems to be a little just personal preference. Me, me someone right. probably got fired, just didn't get yeah. along. Yeah, but um, that is interesting. They do it a week before. That is interesting. I, Can you freeze fruit? Yeah, really? Yeah. I okay. So you ever get cold? <laughs> <laughs> um. So here's the thing: is that I do like grapes. Um. I I like pears. Mm -hmm. I don't eat them very often, but I do really like pears, but I've never had any of those kind of things frozen like apples, apples, grapes, pears, Cause bananas. they're mostly water, those things. So, and I mean, water freezes. So yeah, yeah I, just, I just wouldn't think it would taste very good. Afterwards. Water, sugar. It's basically like an ice. Pot. In fairness, they do chop up fruit and put them in like some of those uh, like more healthy ice cream bars, you know, they'll have like the actual fruit pieces. Yeah. So, all right. The next yeah. one, you know, with the edible edible arrangements though, mm -hmm. that, the name of that company Nowadays, like you think it's like a pot brand, yeah, company, right? Like it, if, if they go under, they got to shift that to like that. I industry. feel like unfortunately, they are a victim of just like evolution, yeah, <laughs> where it's like that kind of has a different meaning now, right? People are gonna order stuff and be very disappointed. <laughs> What's wrong with my gummies, man? Uh, all right, so this one was interesting, it was a little bit different. I went on Judge Mathis before. Do you know who Judge Mathis is? I do okay, cool. They made up a script and had me try to memorize it. They teach you how to cry and all. And the courtroom was basically in a studio, but I came in through a garage type door. And I found out the judges on the shows have to give up their law license to be one on TV. So they can't lock you up or anything. But they paid me good. So the whole thing's a sham. The whole thing's a sham. How about Judge Judy? I can only assume because he said anyone that's on TV, they have to go up their uh, law license. Like, I guess they're no longer like... Something to do with the bar. I feel like <laughs> I'm not licensed. Enough. Yeah, they're not licensed. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. I I honestly didn't think that at all. I always thought that it was played up. Yeah, but I didn't think that it was like a hundred percent fake. Yeah, that I didn't know that they weren't like I didn't know that, licensed anymore. Yeah, like when they were practicing judgment, judgment, I thought that meant like that was a court order. I thought that maybe it it was all pre done ahead of time, like knowing what judgment was going to be given and all that kind of stuff, right? And then it's just, they, they just kind of do it up for the cameras and whatnot, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I honestly, I figured it was like, you know, definitely, ha ha, for the camera. That's interesting. And extra like waterwork type situations from like different, I've seen both men and women just all of a sudden just break down into tears. Yeah. And it's so freaking fake. Yeah. Judge Judy, you bitch. <laughs> I, here's the thing. I freaking hate Judge Judy. Well, she's now you have a reason. She's a fucking liar. Yeah, and a fraud. Fraud. You're fraud. Just a fraud. You're a fraud. Um, <clears throat> all right. I, you, mm, oh, my gosh. Okay, I can't breathe. I used to work for a place called Peter Pan Seafoods, which, Ooh. by the way, let's just pause. When you think Peter Pan, do you think seafood? No, I think Neverland Ranch, in all honesty. <laughs> we're going to go right. ahead and move along because we're not going to dive into that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a processing plant. Uh, the person says, I was 19. If you dropped fish on the floor, you dunked it into a straight bleach and then threw it back up on the belt. Oh. 
the two managers were having an affair. One of the other guys was dating a 14-year-old. Oh. And a group of workers. Don't point at me Neverland like that. Neverland Ranch. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, don't you try to insinuate me. Um, and a group of workers, including the managers, would pull up their cars to the shipping dock and steal boxes of king crab, salmon, and halibut on a regular basis. King crab's where it's at, though. Here's the thing. I just pronounced the word salmon. salmon. Yeah. Salmon. Yeah. And I have never done that in my entire life. I was going to make fun of you so hard for that. Because I've never said salmon before. Like, wow. Yes. Obviously, king crab would be like the one you would steal. Uh, well, actually, the halibut. I really like halibut. Mm. Uh, salmon's overrated because I've had it so much in my life. Yeah. But what the hell was that? Yeah. I've never said salmon. Yeah. That's pretentious. Yeah. That it's is like saying caramel. Ketchup or something like that, you know? Ugh. <laughs> um, all right. This is another good one I liked. Um, I tried out for American Idol years ago. Ooh, I know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Leave him out of this. Sorry. I love your voice, but you're just too short, love. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you have to. <laughs> like a little teapot. <laughs> short and stout. <clears throat> um, wow. Mm-hmm. Gosh, that brings back some dick memories. Um, I tried out for American Idol years ago. You have to go through three days of auditions before even getting in front of the celebrity judges. Mm. So we're going to pause right there. This is exactly what we've heard before, by the way. (laughs) Yes and no. Mm. Some people got right in. Oh. I've known people that actually made it onto TV before. Mm. And one of them, it was like this. It was like a three or four thing. I went to uh, college with a girl. (sighs) I felt so bad. Beautiful voice but like an operatic style voice, not an American Idol style voice. Got it. But she was one of those, uh, I think it's Pentecostal, that they have the hair. Mm. She was 5'9", and her hair was 6'2". It's like a carpet, like a red carpet. Yeah, so you can roll that out. her and her mom both have it. And so they, she made it to the TV, and when they like kind of like, they used her, right? So like they did the cousin... So they, they called her like the uh, the Adams family theme when they were walking like oh, these are the cousin no. it. Like it was pretty messed up. Wow. I want to say her name was Victoria, if I remember correctly. She probably killed herself now. No, she was she was a very sweet girl. Oh. But I felt so bad for her because I'm like, first off, it's embarrassed you on national television. Oh yeah, absolutely. First off, you're singing quite well but like that's not the style dude like yeah yeah it doesn't matter how good of a singer you are if you're if you're singing something totally different than what your natural voice is it's just not gonna work no. but anyway i i just thought that was really funny um nobody knew that of course sorry let me let me go back uh you have to go through three days of audition before you even get in front of the celebrity judges nobody knew that of course so a lot of people couldn't afford the extra nights in the hotels mm. they treated us like cattle no water stations no food stations and we were in the heat waiting all day. It was an interesting experience. Well, you see the T on, on Here's the, the thing. On like the, on, I, the, on the TV, you see, you see the you see the lines. You see the lines. And like I've been to Disney, I know how long that line's going to take. Yeah. And when you got to figure that if I remember correctly, the first round of like um auditions was group auditions where it was like 20 people at a time brought into a room and it was like go no go no and from from my understanding i believe that's how rob described it to us right and then there was that other girl remember the girl that um said that she could sound like the lion from the wizard of oz and she did like the growl thing yeah 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 she worked at the best buy right over here yeah she worked with um a couple of the guys that were friends with like larry and uh um uh cory and stuff interesting so i i had met her and i was just like wow Okay, being one of the cities for American Isle tryouts is awesome. Yeah. So, I, in all fairness, I didn't really think it was that juicy. I just, I knew that we knew a lot of people that have also done it, so it'd be interesting. Yeah. I really wish that Jonathan would have tried out. Really? Have you ever actually heard Jonathan sing? Yeah. Like, not when he's joking around, like when he's actually trying. I, I think so. I want to say it's, so. The man can't really sing, and the thing that pisses you off is you can tell him, hey, sing this song like this song and he can do it that's good in real time it pisses me off well don't be jealous oh 100 jealous don't be jelly look bro don't tenor voices just sound gooder it's not my fault he got the little tiny balls um wow all right 
when I was not a writer, when I was 16 and worked at Six Flags, it's not how they really should be, uh, they told us in orientation that they purposely painted the grounds black so that it would be a lot hotter inside the park, prompting people to buy more overpriced drinks. Racist. Wow. That's what, that's what you pulled from, I don't know. from that. Okay. I don't know. Man. I'm going to take a water break on that. And, uh, well, <laughs> all right. No, I mean, that's why they call it blacktop. I mean, here's my thing. It's just normal. I mean, that's normal. It's nothing like. No, 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 no. Okay. Think about Disney, right? Yeah. Most of it's concrete. Yeah. Gray, regular concrete. Sure. Now the street portion. Is blacktop. They paint blacktop, like right. asphalt. Sure, sure, sure. They paint every surface black. Mm. So the concrete is painted black as well. Okay. If that's actually the reason why they do it, that's pretty ingenious. How much does a, like a extra thing of paint cost versus how much extra can they get from their seven fifty cokes? Yeah, it's just, it beats. It's hard to believe that that's the. It is difficult, on, only because if you really think about that, like it makes sense to paint it black just because it's easier to clean. It looks cleaner, stays cleaner for longer. Like, I, there are other there are other reasons that I think that Florida, are more logical. I would I would agree with you. Which Six Flags is not in Florida. Yeah. Because in Florida, black would be horrible because it would Jersey. turn gray in like one summer. Yeah, yeah. Because you didn't have to repaint it all the damn time. Yeah. Especially with the rain. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. All right, so I got one last one. <clears throat> yeah, I've never eaten there, so. You've never eaten at a Popeye's? Nope. It is the best fast food chicken. Okay. Yeah, I saw the, the internet. The internet says so, too. No, no, no. Like, I say so as somebody who eats chicken. Oh. Like, I introduced you to Culver's. You got to introduce me to Popeye's one day. So, Dude, have you seriously never I'm, eaten at a Popeye's? Never had a Popeye's. I mean, it's fucking horrible customer service. No. It's literally the worst customer service I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah, I think it's probably why I avoided it. Fair. But it's almost kind of worth it. See, I, I think like... Because they're chicken. They have a drive through This, right? Yeah, drive through is worse. You see, see I, I would never eat chicken in my car. Like, with my hands. Like, on a sandwich, I would. I, I've, well, get you know what I mean? sandwich. Yeah, I could. It's that's way the, better than the freaking... That's what the internet says. Okay, yeah. once again, I say it's way better, and it's bigger, and it's cheaper. Yeah, well, that's what we need to do, do some chicken sandwich. Legitimately, we'll go. Like, for real, for real, like, next week. Because the patty is, like, this big, but it's, like, that... It's, like, a solid inch and a half thick, and the pickles they put on it are the crinkle-cut circle pickles... That they're not the garlic ones that you get from Publix, but they look like that. Okay. And it has a strong taste. It's, oh, it's so good. Now I'm so, hungry. So now read about Popeyes and then I'll, I'll never want to go there. No, 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 no. It's not that kind of issue. <clears throat> it's about customer service. Go figure. Yeah. I worked at Popeyes during high school. We used to always tell customers that we were out of chicken tenders. We really weren't, though. We just wanted to cook them right before we closed and take them home. Wow. Now when it happens to me, I feel like I'm getting my karma. <laughs> yeah, because they know. They know. So yeah. remember that um, in my entire life, I've only worked in um, uh, food for like all of like three months when I worked at Burger King, Burger King for that like three months. You were the king. Uh, I, I mean, you were the Burger King. Oh, can't make that joke because he committed suicide. All right. Who did? JK. He was the king. Oh. Um, anyway, so um, I will say that that is 100% accurate. If you are actually closing down and you have a whole thing of fries left, you either have to scoop them and throw them in the trash. And nine times out of the 10, as long as you haven't like obviously been like putting extra down, extra down, extra down. When there's no need to, the manager just be like, ah, oh, bro, just take it. I'd rather you eat it than it gets thrown away, which I understand. Like, even some of the sure. more, like, stickler rules uh, managers I had there. Because surprisingly, at a small little, like, franchise place, there was, like, six managers. Yeah, it's, that's it was a misuse of payroll. There so. was more managers there than when I worked at PetSmart. Wow. I'm not joking. Yeah, it's insane. It was the strangest freaking thing. Pet so, smart's like what? Like a 30,000 square foot yeah, box. On average. Yeah. And that had five managers and then also the um, uh, grooming salon manager. Wow. Because they were, yes, they're a manager, but they're only like, they can only manage things in their own department. So they're, like, they're kind of like off to the side. What a, what's Burger King like? Four? Uh, Burger King is like the size of this room, <laughs> which for people who can't see is probably like what? Like a 15 by 15? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Like if you, sp if, if we put 
a counter right here. No, it's just more than there's more than that. It's like these two rooms. The whole building, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the actual kitchen, oh no, yes. working, no. it is literally yes. this size. Yes, yes. This might be bigger. Yeah. So, Same but no, you. that that literally happened. Also, we a hundred percent stole boxes of uh, Angus burger. Really? Bag. You ate some. I don't think you knew it, but you had you had burgers with us one night. We grilled. You turned me into a thief. I mean, I don't want to out you, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all your fault. Yeah, that's. I led you down the path. You led me down the path. Your mom was right. <laughs> all along. <laughs> meat. But yeah, no, so I, I thought that was actually a pretty funny um, little thread. Fed me your stolen meat. So, um, you got anything? Or uh, huh? do you want to hear a story? I want to hear a story. Okay. I think it's story time. So... <sighs> I've been holding this in all freaking day. So really quick disclosure. I'm an Uber driver. That's what I currently do for a living, right? So being an Uber driver, you get a lot of people in your car that they get in. They say, hi, how's your day? You say, fine. How about yours? Great. Is this the right address? Yes. And then absolute entire silence until they get out and then they go, have a great day. Stay safe. And you're like, you too. Bye bye. And that's it. Right. Okay. Seven out of ten, I would say. Seven out of ten. Is that what they would say too? <sighs> they wouldn't say anything. Seven out of ten. Is that what you Wow. <laughs> I have a four point nine eight score out of five, so I don't want to hear oh. it. So suck it. That's out of my last five hundred uh reviews. So anyway, um I would say of the people that talk, if you took about five hundred of them, every once in, out of that five hundred group, you would get one, like I had to say. Okay. This is a good one or a bad one? This is good. I, I have had oh. so, so, so few bad situations with Uber. I, at this point, I've now done over like 5,000 rides. And I've had, l- there's five rides I can think of right off the top of my head where I'm like, I didn't like it. <laughs> but this one, this one was crazy. So I'm at the Sanford airport. Okay. Just drop somebody off. Nine times out of ten, you got a dead head back or you get little crappy little tiny rides. Sure. As soon as I swipe the button, an offer comes up to pick up at the Sanford airport oh. and take to Kissimmee. And I'm like, oh, let's accept, 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 accept. So I have to like spin around. <clears throat> I get to the curb. It's this uh, lady. She has like one like tote type style bag. Grab real quick, throw it in the back. She gets in. And I'm like, how's it going? She's like, good, good, good. And she's just like, I'm just like super, super tired, which a lot of times is like somebody's trying to be code word. Right. I sure. don't want to talk. Right, 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 right. So like five minutes into the ride, it's silent. You know, I have, I have a podcast on. I'm, I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. And um, she's like, so how's your day going? And I'm like, because that's like, well, <sighs> this is going to be a talkie talkie ride. Because it's about an hour drive um, from like just the way we were going to have to go and everything like that. And traffic wise, time of day. Sure. So... When I asked her where we were going, there's an address, but sometimes it also has like the business name. Okay. And it said discreet secrets or secret discreets or something along that line. The second one didn't really make sense. So I know, I know, I know, I know. So I'll have to, I'll have to, uh, I'm not going to bother trying to look you it up. you didn't Google that later? No, because I'm driving. Later, I mean? Well, no, I went there. Oh. Oh. It's on my phone. Uh, <laughs> so. Mike fucked the hooker. No, I did not. In his car. Did not. That's that's <laughs> way too unsanitary. Um, that's my only issue. I wouldn't have to I'd have to clean it later. It's like, nah. Uh, uh, you could lay down a towel or something. I'm uh, sorry. I, I really want to make a picnic. Get the right name of this. Like I have, remember the website. Having a picnic. It was, on the, it was on like the sign as I was mm-hmm. driving out. Um, it's loading. I'll, I'll have it in a second. Yeah. So anyway, so we're talking for like five minutes. Just normal chit chat. She's pretty nice, but she also has like a really thick accent. Um, she's a Latina. And sorry, it was Secrets Hideaway. That had not, that's not the discreet secrets is what you said, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. I, I, I got that wrong. So what okay. it said was Secrets Hideaway. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. It's a secret hideaway. I get it. Yeah, she could be a super villain or something. Yeah. And know, she's right. like, have you, are you familiar with that location? And I'm like, <laughs> it sounds familiar and I know the area, but I can't place it. And she was like, oh, do you know what it is? And I'm like, no. She's like, it's a swingers resort. Mm. And I'm like, oh, wow. And my brain goes like DEFCOM one. How do I respond? How do I respond? Because that's not enough information when I'm in a work mode yeah. to know how to politely go to the further along this conversation. Sure. Oh, so you like to go and fuck random people? Cool. Right. Or like, oh, that's really interesting. Okay. 
Um, so how was your flight? You know, like, what, sure, what am I supposed sure. to do? Right. right? I, think she, I think she opened up that for you. Oh, oh, she did. Opened it wide. She 100% did. Um, so anyway. Wait. We then, we, we kept like focusing in on the swingers thing. Uh-huh. And then regular conversation. Mm. And then coming back somehow to the swinger thing. Mm. And then regular conversation. <laughs> It was like she was breadcrumbing. Sure. Right? Right. And so... Fat, fatten you up. For the it fuck. was hilarious. Yeah. She's telling me about it, how, like, she loves it. Apparently, this place is awesome as far as, like, um, for, like, safety purposes and whatever. Sanitary. Like, it's a... Yeah. It's a yeah. 100% a private organization. You have to have a membership to even be allowed to go. Oh, nice. Um, If you are... A Automatically s- deducted or HGH? How, do we, how does that work? No, 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 no. So, it's a... um, You can do it for a one-time, a six-month or a year membership. Wow. Um, I, I read the thing later because I thought it was hilarious. Cool. There's, and like, it's obviously couples, but then if it's a single female, it's a different price, which is more than the couple. Oh. A single male. Oh, it's a lot more. Got it. 30 bucks, like 50 bucks, $199. Right. And you can only come when we say. Wow. Um, but apparently it's really kind of cool. Like, uh, they, there's a lot of like, if you mess up. If you do something to make somebody feel uncomfortable, there's no like, okay, okay. It's like, okay, yeah, you're escorted off the premises and your membership has been revoked for life and go. What, what qualifies as that? Basically. Whoops, wrong hole. No, like, it's you didn't, more of you like didn't sign breaking that waiver. the rules. What are, okay. The rules are very different for what area you're in. Okay. So this Whoa. is part of the resort. By the way, this resort, Gorgeous. when I pulled into it. It's really nice, and it's really big. Yeah. Now, obviously, this is just the center portion. Okay. Um, so this is the, the one pool where they have the different pool parties. This is closing optional, hmm. this whole area. Also, apparently... That's their website? Yes. Uh, secretsfl.com. wonder what happens if you look it up on Google Maps and then zoom in. Oh, um, I can show <laughs> you right here. Here's the satellite view. No, it's on their it. website. Oh, no, got it, got it. Yeah, so... They have the whole thing. But yeah, so there's like okay. six different buildings um, with like actual like uh, uh, rooms. Then yeah. there's two um, pools. They have um, dungeons and playrooms. Um, almost every one of the rooms has nice accoutrements, um, such as swings. Well, I would hope they have swings. all different types of styles of things. There's a lot of extras you can have put in your room wow. for a nominal fee. Wow. So anyway... How was your room? <sighs> so anyway, <laughs> but I pull up and as I'm pulling in, she was like, do you want to come inside with me so you can see what it looks like? And I was just like, sure. <laughs> so the whole time she's been giving me crap. She was really, by the way, she was really, really nice. And, and I'm not making fun of her. I'm making fun of the situation. Right. She was the sweetest lady. Super, super cool. Clearly. Yeah. Um, and she could just tell that she was just having fun. She knew she was going to have a, a, a fun weekend and was just already like, you know, letting loose with it. Literally. Um, <laughs> literally. So she's, um, she, she's making fun of me the whole ride because she's like, you're a, cause I, I told her how much I work and she's like, oh, you're just like a workaholic. That's why, um, I broke up with my, my ex and blah, 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 blah and all this kind of stuff. Well, that's why. It's like, you just got to do stuff. You just got to blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I say like, sure, she was like, no, you were supposed to say, of course, let's go. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so we pull in and I get out like I always do whenever anyone has a bag. You know, I always try to give them the bag and shit. So I pick up a bag and I carry it into the thing for her. And it's like a lobby and stuff. And I'm like, cool, nice lobby. All right, well, there you go. And I sort of head out and she just looks at me and she's just like, First lips, like, you pussy. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, dude, I, I'm trying to make money. I'm not trying to make syphilis, okay? So, mm, I'm good. But it was hilarious. I, I've, never, I've never heard about, like, a swingers event. So, apparently, if you're at a resort for swingers, doors to rooms will just be open. Okay. And when the door is open, it means, come on in and play. Right. Now, you do have to ask for consent, apparently. Before right. any touching aspect is there. Or else it's rape. Sure. Um, it's very confusing to me because I'm like, how much? there's like 20 of you in a freaking like dungeon playroom and there's no lights? Like what the? F- there's a lot of creepy stuff. Um, so there's that. 
Then they have pool parties where it's like a special event. They have karaoke nights, um, which is uh, oh. coming up on uh, Sunday if you want to go. Nude karaoke? Clothing optional. Nice. Yeah. Most of the places around this area, clothing optional. Um, so she was explaining how that worked. She was, um, mm. she said that there was this one guy that she said was probably about a meter and a half. So that's like what, like four and a half feet, maybe five feet tall. Okay. She said that he was sitting on the edge of like the pool, but his dick was under the water because it was so large. And she was like, what are you supposed to do with that? And I'm just like driving, like, I don't, I don't. I don't know. What 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 do you think you're supposed to do with the Maybe 12 inch? Maybe he's trying pack? to catch a carp. <laughs> he was fishing. <laughs> yeah. He had the pole. Exactly. Um so she was telling me about that and I'm just like, uh, all right. Then she let me know that she was meeting her ex, not her ex-husband, her ex-boyfriend. Oh. Here for this this weekend. Oh, that sounds Right. Yeah. So I was just like, "Oh, that's really cool. Okay, whatever." And she was like, yeah, he's super nice. He's so funny, blah, blah, blah. It's a good thing, though, because he's ugly as hell. And I'm just like, yeah. did you take something for the flight? <laughs> like, what the yeah. hell? Yeah. Like, just so given with information. Wow. So it was it was hilarious because it, it was it was honestly, though, super, 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 super helpful. Because that ride happened at like 845, 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'd been driving since like 1.30 in the morning. And so I was, if that, if I had not had her, I probably just would have went home at that point because I was super tired. Sure. But that conversation woke me up yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the hell is this real life? So cut to the part where you get your dick sucked. No, I didn't do anything crazy uh. like that. Um, but it was just, it was the funniest freaking thing. And I didn't realize that apparently there's these kind of places just in plain sight all over. And there's so many clubs yeah, Dude, it's all like, over. It's like watching Blade. There's one they're in just, Windermere. <laughs> just around you. There's like 12 in Orlando. They do exist. And that was off just one website. Live there was like you. a list of like 10. The shadows. And I'm just like, what the <laughs> hell? I love how you're literally doing it line <laughs> for line, by the way. And it's accurate. It's so accurate. Yeah. But no, so I, I just thought that, that was an extremely wow. interesting event today. That's um, good for you. But I don't know if she even tipped me. I don't know. It's kind of messed up. Did she even tip you? I don't know. She thought that that was enough. She's like, I'm going to enrich In his life. In fairness, first off, a tip is extra, and I never expect a tip. It's, I'm not that kind of guy. No, I'm being dead serious. I, I think that- You should have tipped her. Well, the, um, <laughs> <Just a tip. laughs> the, the amount that these people get charged for some of these rides is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. So, like, that ride for her. It was an hour. Yeah, yeah. It was like a, I made 25 bucks off of it, which means she paid, like, $50. Oh. Which is ridiculous. Wow. Uh, cab would be, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just mean in general. Like, if I was picking somebody up that was a friend, I'd be like, yeah, give me 10 bucks. You know what I mean? She was trying to be a friend, but he didn't bite. So, <sighs> Look, yeah. man, that that's... When you mix business with, with with what? It's all pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all pleasure. It's the business. Oh, but yeah, that was my that was my story time for this uh, episode. All right. Um, I do have more for other times. That's cute. Though. So whenever you want a, a a fun Uber story, just let me know. Is that what you're calling them, Uber stories? No, it's a story time with Michael. Yeah. Don't worry. Story time with Michael. So what do you got? What do I got? <sighs> Not much, man. You know, it was a pretty, it was, it was pretty lame and boring uh, week. Um, I was popping into the. Uh, oh, I think I told you that I watched um, on YouTube. I've been watching uh, uh, the Norm show, mm, right? Norm McDonald's show, his sitcom. So it's weird. It's like I think it started off as as the Norm show, mm -hmm. the Norm McDonald show is what it started off as. And then it just switched to like Norm and they just switched calling it Norm. Like, I don't know, second season perhaps or Kinda whatever like it is. The, uh, uh, Pennyworth, the butler of Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but honestly, yeah. I forgot. I, I mean, I, I've watched that show younger. It, it was on, I think I remember seeing it. I remember hearing about it and knowing mm -hmm. that it, of its existence, but I've never even seen a promo for it. Yeah, it, it's... It's hysterical. Really? It is funny. Like, they, he does a good job in it. But, uh, yeah, so I've just listened to some. And it's just not Hold on one for TV. Keep, keep talking. I, I got I to move. My, I can't. You got to maneuver. Yeah. Got to maneuver. Yeah, so it's, it's 
the jokes are basically oh. his jokes, but on a on a sitcom, but in like a TV. sitcom format. Yeah, so he says things that you just you just don't say on TV, and and even then, like it wasn't. What was the the year time frame it came out? Ninety eight, I want to say. Oh, well, that's why I didn't know about it. I was in fifth grade. Yeah. Here's the funny fact. Here's the funny fact. That's is, not is that the one? The funny is that the funny It's the, the funny one fact? and only funny fact. Yeah. Is that actually Norm McDonald was probably one of my first favorite SNL cast members. Really? Because I loved him on Weekend Update. Yeah. It's it's him you and then what was the name of that? I, oh my gosh. <sighs> I can't think of his name now. But um, f- for in-, in Living Color, it was uh, Tommy Davidson. Okay. Davidson. Oh, I never say his last name correctly, but you know what I mean. Okay. And then for um, SNL, it was Tim Meadows. It was um, Norm, Tim Meadows, and there was one other cast member that I liked, but it wasn't like Will Ferrell. I did not like Will Ferrell. Mm. I didn't like Will Ferrell until like after his like third movie. And I, yeah, I, he, I fell in love I agree. with him. He grew on me. Yeah. yeah. He was, he was just a different brand of comedy. He was a it, different kind of character he was. Cause he was a character. Anchorman is the perfect example of my love for him as a character. Or it's the first time we saw it. We were like, that is the dumbest movie I've ever seen. I don't understand the hype. I can't stand this. This is disturb- disturbingly stupid. I'm done. And then all of a sudden you're like, 30% of the time, it works every time. Yeah, yeah. And you, you just can't help but quote it oh, for yeah. the next, like, three weeks. And you're like, let's watch it again. Yeah. And then you're like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm. So, yeah, I didn't I didn't start liking him, I think, until Talladega Nights. And yeah. I didn't see that movie until, I think I saw it with you, finally. And it was, like, eight, nine years after it came out. Yeah. Because that has, what's her name in it, before she was an Academy Award winning actress. Um, Ooh. I don't remember now. I haven't seen the movie since McAdams probably or then. Adams or is it Rachel? Rachel McAdams? No. He's not in that. That's not the right name. The one that was in um that <sighs> she's in Superman. Slow's Lane. Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Got it. Thank you. Yes, you're right. She I is in that. I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> What's she the name of the movie it. that she does? It's like aliens that she has to communicate with. Dude. Come on. I don't know. Not, not anything that we're gonna think of right now in this moment. It's, I, 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 I hate this. Close Encounters. No, the it's a time. recent one. It <laughs> turns out that it's all like a circle, times a circle. It's all a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. Um, oh, this is going to bother me. Well, you can look it up. Anyone who later. may know what the name of this movie is, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Contact. Now... Like naming movies that are way before that. Yeah, I know. Contact was like, came out 20 years before this movie. Uh, a Matthew McConaughey, um, b- a baby Matthew McConaughey movie. Battery's not included. I know that's a movie, but I don't know what that is. Coon. No, it wasn't that. Now you're really not going to know it. It's driving me insane. I've never seen it. That's okay. It's but not my style. Why movie. do you care? Because I know that I know it. And it's like a really like award-winning movie that was like a big deal the cinematography and it was like amazing the guy who did it ended up doing a couple of other like really big awesome things that i actually really liked i keep wanting to say the word signs and i know that's not right nope that's another movie with the aliens. something about communicating yep that's what happens arrival don't know you're 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 trying to confirm the title of the movie it's someone who doesn't know the title of the movie right but it's kind of like it's like saying it's like that one movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and like could have like survived if he got on top of the Catch door. Catch me if you can. Oh. And like I don't know. Titanic. And it's like oh it's it's Titanic. Yeah. Oh, and then like you remember it. Yeah. And she's a redhead too, Kate Winslet. She really? Kate Winslet? Well, I mean in that, right? Yeah. In that, yeah, 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 yeah. But in real life, she's not. She's like a dirty blonde, right? Don't call her that. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Starts with an A. Dude. I could look it up, but I, I refuse to look it up. Please do it. No. Just look it up. Oh, my gosh. Put me no, out of no, my no, no. fucking misery and just look me at, look anyway, it up. Anyway, okay. Uh, while my brain is trying to... Is it Arrival? Yeah, that sounds good. That's it. Arrival. You're such a freaking liar. It's and Arrival. you're not even good at it. It's Arrival. I hate you. That's anyway, what it is. Anyway. I remember uh, it now. I actually saw the movie. Did you not? 
No, I didn't. I, guess I could just make up a scene. You I know wouldn't. every single thing about it because Megan really likes it. Oh. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, while my brain is still trying to think of the name of this stupid movie, um, just want to say uh, we really appreciate anyone who's uh, followed us over from our old podcast we just finished, um, 15 Questions. Um, this one is, as you can tell already, a little bit different, um, a little bit more uh, laid back. Um, but we hope that anyone who has followed over enjoys and sticks around and anyone who's new, Hey, this is our new podcast. This is our discourse duo podcast. Um, each week we will be releasing the audio and video of it. Um, if you are listening to us, we would really appreciate, um, any type of, um, subscriptions or, um, reviews with actual like comments on it. It really, really helps the algorithm spit it out to more people, the more people that listen to it, they like it and take the 10 minutes to let them know. And then obviously if you're on YouTube and you're watching the video, please do a like, a comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Even if it's just like hated it or loved it, that little tiny mention helps so much once again with these algorithms um, that if you're watching the video, just put a th something in the comments, just just anything, just like a question mark. <laughs> For every subscriber and like we get, um, we'll donate $1 towards Mike's membership to the Swingers Club that he just described. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you want to see, <coughs> if you want to see this. Oh my gosh, that would be so man. awkward. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, all right. I mean, I didn't say no, but I also think it's weird. Uh, but anyway, no. So, uh, you know, that was that was my spiels. Um, so we just definitely appreciate any um, uh, love support you guys can give us uh, to help us on this uh, new journey. It's a journey. That's true. Um, what stuff. you got? What you got? I got some stuff. So, so I'll, uh, I'll let you go next. So how about this? I, I have something. Mm -hmm. uh, I was reading. I was reading the other day, okay. as I do sometimes. Uh, but uh, the interweb. I was reading... You were electronically reading. Yeah, I was reading the That's news. That's not your norms? Okay. I was just flying through some stuff, and it came up, and I was like, I think I know the answer to this question, right? <clears throat> so, I wrote, so I wrote some stuff down here, so, all right? Um, and this is, a true, this is a true story, okay? Okay. 100%. You know, when you true. say ahead of time, this is a true story? This is... Hundo percento. True story, true story. Well... Makes me not believe that it's a true story. Right, true well, story. it's based on a true story. How about that? Sounds better. All right, cool. All right, so it's Alabama. Yeah, it's the answer to the question of which Southern Belt state is the fastest growing. Really? Uh huh. I thought it would be Florida, right? Yeah. Nope. It is not. It it's is all not. the inbreeding. Yeah, could be. Reports show that despite Alabama's uh, conservative laws, such as their strict abortion laws, um, from you know, people from northern states are choosing to move to Alabama's coastal towns due to the warm climate and lower real estate prices compared to Florida. Oh, I 100% agree with that part. Yeah, because everyone moves from I New York to Florida. I always forget they have coastal. Yes. Because it's that little tiny, like, little box square titty looking thing that comes on the end. Yep. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So residents of Alabama are concerned about overpopulation and inflation if this trend continues. So for this reason, legislators are considering to um, add exceptions for cases of rape and incest to their abortion laws to counteract population increase because it's Alabama. So let me clarify this. That second part might not be true. <laughs> <laughs> So I kind of, I kind of stole your thunder when I said all the inbreeding. My bad. No, that's just, uh, that's just what you think when you say no, absolutely hear Alabama. Well, that and you think Forrest Gump. Yeah, you could think Forrest Gump. You yeah. should go back home to Alabama. Yep. Alabama. The when he yelled at he, Jenny. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. He's yelling at the the guy that he feels bad for messing up their Black Panther party. Oh yeah, yeah, Black Panther party. That's the right. white guy at the Black Panther party. Yeah. Oh man, that's the only positive thing that Alabama's ever gotten is. Uh, and besides real life football, I mean, football. Alabama's amazing. Alabama's amazing. It's a it's a it's a dynasty. It's because they they bred that way. You know, I mean, they figured out the right feed, right, to give them, yeah, to just build up those big old corn fed boys. It's well, 
think just they take two family lines and they just keep that <laughs> they just keep that going until it becomes one family line. <laughs> Ooh. You're just you're just pushing it in. All right, cool. Yep, yep, yep. yep that's yep, that's yep. what they do in Alabama. Wow. Push it in. That's that's disturbing. Anyway. Yeah, uh, but I thought that was crazy though. Like literally it's 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 becoming one of the fastest growing. Well it does make sense. States. Well it's kinda like what we were talking about the other day where I was bored and I went on Zillow. And, you know, I've always talked about I wanted to move up to Minnesota. And so I started looking at, like, prices in Minnesota. And then I was like, this is insane. It's still freaking dirt cheap, even, like, around cities. And then I looked in Montana and was just, like, nine, ten-bedroom homes. You find a place. 100000 Yep. You can... Now, mind you, they were built in, like, 1907. Sure. But they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Large. A lot of property. You a can, lot of property. That's the real ticket. You can build a swingers resort there if you really wanted to. <laughs> I'm starting to regret telling you this. I feel like this is going to become you a thing. You should not have told me this. Look, look, look. Yeah. Here's the thing. It was hilarious. Oh, yeah. I, you have, okay. You have no idea how difficult it is to be sitting in a car with people either next to you, behind you, or a combination of. Mm-hmm. That... Once again, complete silence in your he- earbuds. You're listening to a comedy special mm-hmm. or just a podcast or a book. And whatever you're hearing gives an emotional response, good, bad, or indifferent. You have to just hold it in because otherwise you would look like a legitimate maniac. If I'm just yeah. driving down the highway and then tears just come dripping down because of an extremely sad character death you might in a get book. A tip. I might have people think that I'm about to murder them. Or if I'm just like, (laughs) once again, there's no cars on the road. It's dark. And I just start going. (laughs) Well, that, that would be the murder. That's the murder thing. Tears. Maybe not. Unless it's like, unless you turn them and say, I don't want to do this. I really don't. (laughs) You're the third one this week. Yeah. (laughs) It's the voices run the voices. I like it when they run. (laughs) <laughs> no so um that before thought about it yeah <laughs> um but no i i think think that is one of the most difficult things and there's been times recently where it's been i've, I've been listening to a lot of uh comedy specials mm. because i told you youtube has become like a freaking just treasure trove mm. and so i forget the the full name the guy's name is ali it's no no, no. Oh. it's a it's a oh. black guy has like ali. He has like a, a, a chin strap style, like a uh, beard, no mustache. Um, and he talks about how he used to be a, a drug dealer. Then he went to prison for like six years mm. and came out. Anyway, he's freaking hilarious. He has like th- two or three specials. I've listened to all of them now. And he's a story comic. Is he the one who does the, the jokes and the stories? And then he's like, doesn't work. No, oh, no, 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 no. That's Eon Cole. Cole. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. The one that now is the spokesperson for the the lotions. And, oh, is he? Um, for uh, 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 what did Terry Crews used to do? Spice. Old Spice, yeah. Yeah. Yep. He, he's been doing that for the last like three yeah, or four yeah. years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so they were really funny at first, but now it's like the same it's like six. I'm yeah, just like, yeah, I'm yeah. done with this crap. Give me a new yeah. person. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, um, it is really difficult to hold it in. It is, it is very difficult laughter I forgot what we're talking the about laughter for a second. from the yeah stuffs. yeah got it um but i have been catching up on a lot of the uh santa specials because we looked on netflix what was it like weeks ago and there's like six i had never even sure. seen before sure so i watched both of his um ollie's on youtube i watched all of the john mulaney one baby J. It, it might be my favorite one he's ever done it's it's a close like back and forth between i think it's Georges or kid gorgeous he did which i think it was the second one um watch razzle dazzle from uh burt chrysler and i was very surprised at actually how good it was mm. because we've talked about it I like him on interviews i like him on podcasts peaks, yeah and then he just kind of went down on yeah. like his comedy but i will listen to any of his podcasts sure sure i actually hmm oh remember i told you about like two years ago he had a podcast um where he interviewed dan cook that was the first time I'd seen or heard Dane Cook in like years. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just did it, another one with him like six months ago. Really? And I listened to that one as well. I haven't, I haven't 
heard any of Dane Cook's well, comedy in the past. I can't tell you how many years. What deal does he have? He with who? has a deal because you know how Dane Showtime. is. Showtime. He's nope. Uh, Moment. How's that? Exactly. Same thing that people said when when it was like, what's this Dane Cook guy doing? Oh yeah, MySpace. He's always trying to move on to like that next thing. The moment is, from my understanding, I haven't had time to research research it, so I'm just getting it piecemeal. It's a streaming service that somebody can take content and go to and be like, hey, will you distribute this? And they go, yeah, it's for only for 14 days. And after that 14 days, all the rights, all the ownership, all the everything goes right back to the creator. Interesting. Which is amazing for the creator. And the way that he was saying it, he was like, do you know how big an average contract is? It's like 30 to 75 pages. Contract with them, it's one page. Interesting. And I'm like, there's a lot of people that would, if this does end up being a, an avenue that could actually start getting more exposure from it. I guess, but apparently, the, what, how is he going to benefit from it? Because people would be, it's a paid thing. I understand, but like needs to right now. He already has one on. What? Comedy special. He's done like two. On Moment? Okay. Where do I access it? I believe moment.com. Okay. Never heard of it. Right. It's a, it's a newer thing. Is it just coming out now? Uh, within the last like six, seven months, I guess. This might blow up. This might be the thing. Or... Also, I think, what's the name of the, I, I know his last name and I can't think of it. It might be Ben Schwartz. Ben Schwartz. Ben Schwartz. He was the first one that was like starting messing with it. It's he a had cool, a special that did really, so really well on it's it It's a well. cool concept for, for artists, obviously, right? And for people like that. But, you know, you're trying to gain back game that you've had in the past. Like, how is that going to work for him, right? Well, I mean, Dan Cook's not looking for fame. He already has name. Sure, sure, sure. But, like, uh, didn't he lose a bunch of money or stolen from him, like his yeah, brother? Yeah, brother totally fucked him after right. his parents died. Right, right, right. I guess he doesn't need the money, though. I guess he's still good from... from no, he did... When he did... Uh, those movies or... The vicious videos? Circle? No, he lost all the money from the movies. Oh, he lost all that from the yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, When he did Vicious Circle, I think it was. Mm. Um, I wasn't Vicious Circle. It was the one where he was, like... Rough it's, around the edges. Is that it, the one where he starts off like black or, and white? He's walking down like to like a basement. No, uh, like on, on the stairs. Whatever one that one was, he had the shaved head. Oh, um, well, buzz cut. You know? Yeah, yeah. And that was the first one he did post getting ripped off. Got it. Um, uh, 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 it's interesting though. It's a cool concept. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, but it's not just Moment.com because obviously that would be like too fucking easy. Um, but anyway, so I I listened to that and it was really good. I'd recommend it. Um, I also listened to Bert uh, interview uh, Matt Reif because, you know. Yeah, you're, you're gay for him. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I love him. Um, found out that he and some of his friends have a couple of YouTube channels mm -hmm. where they do ghost hunting. Oh. <laughs> they go to like all those like legit, like this is supposed to be the scariest. This is supposed to be the most haunted place in the UK. Yeah. So they go to it and like do the different things and whatnot. Um, Interesting. The one that he was talking about, they had just, when, when this happened, I think this was like eight, nine months ago, because I was catching up on ones, you know, um, he had just gone like to the Queen Mary out in Cali. Cool. You know what the Queen Mary is, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it seems like it was pretty funny because this is the way that it's, um, like videotaped all that kind of stuff. Mm. So I, I actually might check it out. It's pretty funny. Blair Witch style. Just a little bit. Just like uh, <laughs> GoPro in it. Just yeah. holding it by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then I, I listened to the Jim Gaffigan, not listen. I watched Jim Gaffigan. Nope. Jeffries. Oh yeah. Just Jeffries. He's yeah, 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 yeah. That was really funny. He's always funny. He, he almost always, he's not the funniest guy in the world. He's consistently like a good seven or eight. Yeah. Like he just, yep. only, the only person I would say that I recently have just been floored both times is, um, Taylor, um, Tomlinson. Mm -hmm. You you called that one. Mm -hmm. She is the funniest freaking person, and two specials in a row. I think were like nine nine point fives both. Yeah, yeah, she like, hit. It was just spot both on. of them. Yeah, spot on, which you don't see very often. No. Oh, um, but yeah, I've just been watching a lot of comedy specials. That's cool. That and I'm just working on like you know normal like editing stuff and playing around things. I did um, start three D printing some new stuff too. Um, we have, you can't see it cause it's behind the camera, 
but we have a, a, a little addition for hopefully next week. Yeah. A little, a little uh, shelf. Um, yeah. We have space. Maybe right there. Well, actually, no, we'll probably have to put them up here. Yeah, we can figure that out. Just because of height. Mix that up anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm also 3D printing some other stuff for up here as well. So, yeah. just, you know, I, I figure if nothing else, uh, this will be an ever-evolving thing. And, like, maybe, you know, Master Chief will stay here for a couple weeks. And then maybe he'll vacation. Somebody else can pop in for a little bit. Then he can come back. You know, just kind of mix it up. Eventually, we, we have some, at least I have my eyes on some other furniture. But one of those, yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. We, we definitely just need more tables. We just need this room to <sighs> finish. Yeah. There's a hole in the, there's all the drywalls missing from one side of the wall here. So, yeah. I mean, that's, that's it. That's just Florida. It's Florida. Look, bro, it's just the way it is. Um, anyway, how's, um, the other thing you've been doing? Um, real killing. Real killing? Yeah. Um, it's going a lot better than I thought it was because yeah. it turns out you only have to do three within like a 30 day period as long as they don't have any known connections. Now, I messed up the first time and I did two at the same time Got and it, it. kind of null and voided the whole system. So I had to start over. That's why you left Lyft and now you're with Uber. Understand. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because the thing with Lyft is that had to have like a little like logo illuminating thing and it was really kind of like less low gives, key than i wanted gives to you go away right it really does it's pink it's kind of glows yeah 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 not really a fan no that's why i like uber more inconspicuous all right well, well listen good luck with that i i mean i appreciate it i appreciate it uh so i i want to end this one out on um one, one little fun thing all right so i was listening to a podcast no right now and i heard a headline that made me immediately oh i have to look that up okay back in 2016 in florida we had wonderful florida man headline it was in georgia then so it wasn't me right florida man arrested for allegedly robbing a wendy's an alligator that's awesome Mm mm-hmm so, um, I will show you the photo of said alligator inside the Wendy's. Oh. It's very, it's very grainy, but let me That's give you a little guy. Let me explain the situation. <clears throat> so this guy, and I, I wanted to see really quick if it shows his age. Yeah. This guy, Joshua Douglas James, who he- at the time was 23. And this is from Jupiter, Florida. You know, already what kind of place we're dealing with. I, I've been, I've go there often. Yes, I've been there like times. It's not, it's not the sticks. Oh, oh, you know what I was thinking of? I was getting Atlantis and Jupiter confused. Atlantis isn't really either. It, well, the place that I was in was Atlantis is technically one Lantana. community. Right. Yeah. Lantana. Yeah. And the police chief and then the fire chief or the brother of this person's ex-wife, a little sticky. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so he decided that he was going to go and rob Wendy's. Oh, a normal person to the destination, Mm -hmm. maybe have somebody stay in the car with the car running inside your money. Maybe like even like the under the shirt because you have a banana, you know, give me your money. Okay. It's work. Good old Joshua here goes through the drive through himself. He gets to the drive through window. Lady shows her name too, because that it was stated was really funny um it doesn't I, I don't see it right away this is him by the way um was a lady give me all the money in the register i mean drive through through the drive through she's like no <laughs> like go, shut the window go fuck yourself at that point yeah like i'm not giving you anything like give me all the money or i'm gonna fucking kill you guys she's like no you like pickles no <laughs> would you like pickles so he goes i and takes an alligator and throws it through the window why would she, at her. Why would she still have it open at that point? <laughs> there was the alligator chilling like he was starting this conversation. Yeah, they're friends, obviously. They're buddies. Like, what the? Just what part, is this? Partner in crime. So, it, <laughs> this is the best part. Um, surveillance video from Wendy's of the alligator toss 
was shared with the um, F, uh, FWC. The footage is currently being held by the Palm Beach County State's Attorney Office mm-hmm. and will not be publicly released at this time. Oh, it should be. <laughs> Been a while. Uh, I may actually try to find it. <laughs> it's pretty freaking funny. That's funny. Um, let's see here. Uh, he, got, he, got, he got arrested like, right away. And his, For so many things, too. Oh, his, his bail was set for only six grand, though. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to see if it says what he was actually charged with. Robbery with a deadly... Uh, attempted robbery. Animal? Like, I don't know, yeah. Um, animal abuse? Oh, here we go. James now faces multiple charges, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon yeah. without intent to kill and unlawful possession and transportation of an alligator, according to the FWC incident report. Um, and Palm Beach County online court records, blah, blah, blah. The only thing is he said he was going to kill them. Yeah. Man, I, I and then and then threw a predator yeah. at them. <laughs> Apparently, he had ordered a large soft drink as an excuse to a, be in the drive-through. It was a frosty. <sighs> it was a frosty. He ordered vanilla. They gave him chocolate. And he yeah. lost his mind. They have strawberry now. I'm good. I don't like strawberry. No. I don't like strawberry anything except for strawberries. Milkshakes. Um. Good. Oreo. The only kind of milkshake I really, really go for. Yeah. Anyway, dude, that's. Oh, I got that is a Florida man thing for that, sure. Oh, that's 100% Florida man. What other uh, state are you robbing people with gators? Like, you know. maybe Alabama, Alabama. Uh, and honestly, no, not really. It's probably just because you left Pensacola and just went a little bit further. <laughs> You're probably still a Florida man, yeah. But uh, I, I think that would maybe be something we'll, we'll check in on regularly is our wonderful Florida men. Oh, see yeah. uh, what other crazy crap they're up to. We are in the state of Florida and begrudgingly, I think. We're just immune to a lot of it too, because we see a lot of stuff. And that we goes live in the city. Around. Yeah, we yeah. we live in the Greater Orlando area, so yeah, we don't deal with as many of these types of issues. Well, no, not the gator things, but we deal with a lot of like masturbating hobos and oh yeah, type of stuff that goes on. You know, oh happens, but that's normal. That's any city stuff. I mean, we're yeah. on like the city city. Anytime you have homeless population, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, there's, there's a lot of mental illness with it, and you know, yeah. I saw a guy off of um. OBT and like Koi, I think it is, or something like that. Mm. Um, it's like Sand Lake when it, um, when you take it all the way down and it turns into like that other road. Yeah. And he had on a pair of um, gray sweats. Yeah. They stopped mid thigh, the top. Oh. And he was just letting it all there hang. He, goes. he was, he was air drying. What he was doing. Yeah. 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 It was, it was a Kevin Hart's dad moment. Oh boy, a dead homeless man too. It, I did. That, that's a that's a much longer story. That's a much longer I, story. You know what? There's that story was, time with Mike next time too. That was his first victim. <laughs> Wasn't the first dead body. <laughs> I'm just saying. It was I have an alibi for that one? You but need, anyway, you need to come up with a name or media for your serial killing. Oh, oh, I was gonna say. Yeah, I know what his name was. It was Michael. <laughs> wow. Well didn't have a name until he died. What a f- In death, his name was Michael Kalachowski. <laughs> was very consonant heavy. Wow. It's like this long. It had characters in it. Don't exist in our show, show alphabet. The, the angle they can't see. That's how long his penis is. Right here. Besides <laughs> that's <how> long. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I think we got for this week. Yeah. Um, feel free to uh, back next week when we have some more... Uh, interesting, fun stuff for you. Mm-hmm. Cool stuff. Dead you, bodies. <laughs> dead bodies. <laughs> you can you can hear where Michael's uh, body count is. Uh, Currently, we're at five. Ooh. And you know, like I said, in counting. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll figure it out from there. That's cute. All right, y'all. We'll Later, see you guys, guys next week.